Hey everybody, Tony Bears here again. In this movie episode of Movie Grades, uh, I've got a special guest star, Scotty, who's off camera because he don't look too pretty. We'll say that. <laughs> I'm grungy. <laughs> and in this episode of Movie Grades, we're gonna review the movie Fang Boner, which is another movie from. It's an independent movie from the Detroit area. And with these in independent movies, we usually we grade on a different scale than we would what we would a major blockbuster movie. So we're going to be a little bit kinder to this movie since it's low budget and locally made. To begin with, I'll tell you the plot of the movie. It's basically this guy who discovers that he was bitten by what he thinks is a vampire. And then he is invited to the home of this girl that he barely knows. And he accidentally infects her as well. So they need blood to survive as vampires do. And they decide to like form a pact kind of and just go out and kill people who they think they should kill to basically survive. The movie is described as, you know, a horror comedy. It's, it, it's somewhat uh, a, it's a romantic comedy. But uh, Scotty has something to say about that, though. He don't, that's not how he describes it. But how do you say, describe it, Scotty? I would definitely describe it more as a software porn. Lots of tits <laughs> and dicks. Um, but there's enough blood and gore in there to keep you interesting if you get bored of that much. Everything else. <laughs> well, I, I will note that Sky hasn't hasn't seen any of these low-budget movies from Detroit area. He's not a, a trauma fan. <laughs> no, no. So he's not seen too many trauma movies. So... But that's that's how most of these go is you know you get a lot of gore, a lot of nudity, and stuff like that. And it, this is this is a, also a very good comedy too. I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, so you get a little bit of everything. You get comedy, horror, romance. <laughs> I, I thought the comedy was a little try hard at first, but it definitely um, it got better. It got better. The jokes definitely got better. The even the camera angles and everything improved throughout the movie, and it was very noticeable, which is kind of strange for a movie. But <laughs> you, I suppose it's part of the budget. Yeah, it's a low budget movie, so that's kind of to be expected. What I really liked is I thought this was was a story that's that's involved because they, I thought it was fairly unique in that they discover or at least they think that they must feed through the through their their victim's crotch area male or female <laughs> that's 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 a new twist on the vampire genre i'd say they're under the unfortunate thought that they were attacked by succubus so it was a sexual encounter yes. and thus they had to feed in that manner unfortunate for the guy i guess <laughs> <laughs> the straight male <laughs> and, and the, as the story progresses it it, I, it 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 sucked me in in in, in any way because I because you kind of you're 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 thinking to yourself how will this if you were these people how would you handle this situation you know how would you go about killing people you know and is it right to kill people you you have to feed to uh, survive so you know it's kind of an ethical dilemma they don't really tackle that they come kind of like almost on board right away. Yep, let's kill some people, you know. Well, they uh, figured out early on that if they just feed and not kill them, they would have vampires running everywhere. Right. And it'd be like a zombie apocalypse with vampires that don't have superpowers. <laughs> kind of a zombie apocalypse, I guess, only it's blood instead of brains. And that poses a problem, so I guess yes. killing was the alternative. <laughs> yes, they didn't, they didn't want to infect any, any more people, so yeah, you, that's a good point. You know, how did you feel of the actors? Do you think the actors did a good job? I think the actors did the best they could. I felt like it was more of a problem with the writing. Mm -hmm. Like I noticed a lot of times where they're like, oh wait, and the person that's gonna, you know, finish them off or kill them or whatever, be like, okay, well, what do you got to say? Who's really gonna do that that many <laughs> times? Like. Yeah, I was just no, maybe waiting they, uh, for the comical. Oh well, I'm gonna distract you just enough to escape. <laughs> you knew it was coming, right? Whether it came or not, I'm not gonna reveal. But <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit of a twist in itself. Um, well, maybe they, the the killers felt you know, give them their last rights, give them their uh, you know what they want to say, the last words, you know. That's just a lot of last words. <laughs> but 
but well, wait, there's more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, for a, a, a small budget movie, do you think? What do you think of the effects? Considering what they were working with, and it doesn't look like they were using much in the way of CG animation, and I wouldn't really expect that. Their blood effects were very good, in my opinion. Like, stick with that. Mm -hmm. Don't don't even like worry about improving that. That was really good. Uh, even for anything else, that was good. The tongue thing or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what to think about that. <laughs> that was different. I suppose that, and it's weird because it seemed like you can see on the cover, it's like they made it like their trademark type thing. And I don't know. It just didn't come across as believable. Mm -hmm. I don't know. For what it was, and I've seen other, other low budget movies from Detroit, I thought I think it's on par with the rest of them. So if you've seen one, you know what to expect. I was talking about the story. Did you like the story? I was on it thinking it was a genuine horror film. Mm -hmm. So when the joke started flying, I'm like, wait a minute. What am I watching You didn't here? see that coming. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's why initially I didn't really think it was too funny. But they got more creative with the jokes. And the jokes became less one-liners and more creative in that aspect. And I enjoyed that. That was. And then once I saw it more as a comedy than a horror, I began to appreciate it a lot more for what it was. N not to spoil it, but... You know, they, they, they call them vampires and then they call them succubus or incubus. And we won't spoil it. It's not quite that. So, so I felt in that way it was unique enough uh, well, to make it unique, to make, to, to make it stand out against. Because it's not, technically it's not a vampire movie. I would still say it is. Okay. <laughs> Just because they have to feed blood. And they really hit home with a, well, vampires normally bite you in the neck. This didn't this really is... happen that way. Yeah. So then what the f*** is happening to me? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What is your what is your cons to this movie? What's, what do you think are the bad things of it? It's weird. Like, in the beginning of the movie, like I said, all of their flops pretty much were straightforward. Their camera workmanship was poor. I mean, mm -hmm. when they panned the camera across, like in the first scene, it was shaky. And then it wasn't very good. Then it was a long take that kind of puts you to sleep. And it did me. <laughs> <laughs> but having shorter takes would definitely, or shorter cuts would be much appreciated there. Quicker um, cuts, yeah. Yeah. Um, but later in the movie, I noticed a lot of that was remedied right off the bat. The movie was more enjoyable in that aspect. So the cuts weren't as long. The camera moving or panning wasn't shaky. You could tell they invested more in their equipment. Their try hard to be funny right off the bat was not funny. <laughs> um, but they improved on that too. In the end, the entire movie was one big joke and yeah. it was appreciated <laughs> as opposed to the one liners. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Most of the cons I would suggest were remedied within the movie hmm. relatively quick. Huh. So if they would have gone back and revised the beginning real quick, mm -hmm. you would have had a pretty solid movie. Every every problem I have would which would be you know like special effects and, or or acting or whatever like they're more forgivable for me like I said for a low budget movie than so like a bigger budget movie so I would say there's really no cons as far as this type of movie. You know, for for what it is, you know, I feel it's on par with with the other ones that I've seen. We've reviewed movies from some of the people that's in this before. Terrence Cover and Kim Howard, who are in this movie, we've reviewed their movies, and it's on par with their stuff that I've seen before, like Ghostbusters fan film that Kim did. Terrence Cover, the um, his Dambulance movie, except for Dambulance was more of a serious, and this is more of a comedy. So it's on on par with that. So how would you rank this? One? This one, the beginning of the movie is not so great, but the rest of the movie I definitely got into. If Blair Wish, if that was considered a good low budget movie, this is definitely better in my opinion. So better than Blair Witch. There's yeah. good testimony there. Yeah. The other one bored me to tears. I just wanted it to be over. <laughs> yeah, what what grade would you give it then? See that's the thing. If people thought the Blair Witch was an A, I guess you could say, because it you know mm. it was a big hit and everything. So I'm gonna say that's that would be the average, the C, then this would be the B plus. I think I have to agree with you. Um like I said, this is on par with other movies of this type, um, and on par being C. And 
I feel that the story itself, the unique take on the vampire genre, uh, and you know the the it's 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 advertised as somewhat of a romantic comedy as well. Um, just the uniqueness of it, I think, appeals to me, and will raise it above that C. So I think I, I I'll give it a solid B. Solid B. Yeah. So we got a B and a B plus yeah. for a romantic comedy <laughs> that you don't really know is romantic until the end of it. Um, <laughs> uh, back to the last words thing. <laughs> so, um, so I'll just say that we will put links to uh, where you can find this movie online. It's Fang Boner. Uh, it was directed by Nate Rummer. I believe you how you pronounce his name. So I'll I'll direct you to him as well on Facebook. I'll direct you to this Facebook page. I'll direct you to uh, their website where you can buy this. So if you'd like to purchase this movie, you can go to rockbottomvideo.com. You can see it's Fang Boner under a shop. It's all in decent price at only ten bucks. So if you have an interest in this movie, I recommend it. I say go ahead. It's got two reviews on it, <laughs> done by the same person. So you know it's good. <laughs> There's nine left. Apparently they had 50 copies. So, I mean, it had to have been more than the people that made this movie that bought this. So, <laughs> probably family. <laughs> uh, <laughs> definitely put your review. Uh, comment. If you've seen the movie, comment below. Put your piece in. How you feel the movie done. How they could have done better. Anything you feel we need to change as far as video editing or what movies you want us to edit and what you'd like to see in the future, let us know in the comments below. Yeah, this is a new setup we have going here on for movie grades. Let us know at the comments below if you like this new setup. You get to see twice as much of my face, which is beautiful, obviously. So you're getting twice as much for the same price, which is free. So why not? By seeing twice of my face, you're not seeing Scotty's face. So I'm saving you guys, people, seriously. I'm Tony Beers. I'm Scotty. And we'll see you next time. This video is sponsored by the Crazy Kings of Toys. Check them out for all your toy needs and find out why they are so crazy. Find them at Amazon, eBay, Bricklink, and Facebook. Links are in the description. Toxic Pop has a new Facebook page. Like it to see pictures and keep informed about our upcoming events and videos. A link is in the description. Go to www.facebook.com toxicpop1.